Well, Jerry, how do you assess that point today? Yeah, it was it was a good one in the end, but um, if I'm honest, I was disappointed we didn't nick it there at the end, especially with the um, chance. We went one wing back to the other wing back, and we've been practicing that in training. And uh, you know, I think we had a fantastic game, Stephen Kingsley, but just you know, them sort of guilt edge chances that you don't quite take. I also thought James Hayter got into a couple of good positions when he'd come on as well. But I think the way that we started the game was to frustrate Scunthorpe. Um, if anything, I think we was a little bit too deep in the block that we put on. But you know, we was countering at, at will, and um, we got in a couple of times as well before Gozzi's um, great strike, and then you know Grantie getting across and, and nicking the, the goal for us. So pleased with the point, but in the greater scheme of things, we go another point behind, and now it's two wins and something else to get ourselves out of trouble. Um, so that's disappointing, but to come to Scumfork and not on the back of a really disappointing game against Doncaster away, I think we've remedied that and we definitely was resilient today. Joel Grant, first start since November. I think he's a player who's been waiting to get back into the action because you know how dangerous he can be. Yeah, and I still thought he was a little bit rusty today. There was certain instances where he normally opens up and really gets at people, but they were getting back at him. Um, I thought from an attacking point of view, he was excellent for us. And also defensively, you know, he was getting back in and he, he worked his socks off there. And um, with Hayter and um, Berwick coming on, it was, you know, that just sort of shored us up towards the end. And I felt quite comfortable there towards the end. So, you know, with us getting the chances on the break, um, as I said, we had a couple of guilt edge chances that we think we could have nicked it, but they'd probably be saying the same themselves. But when they're really trying to push on and, and get towards the playoffs and we're trying to get ourselves out of the bottom, you know, you walk away with a draw and say that it's a fair result at the end of the day. How about the role of one of your coaching staff with Gareth Stewart coming on and saving the penalty? Yeah, well, Paddy came up to me after the game and said, um, anyone but Gareth Stewart because they used to actually practice penalties quite a lot together so I think the timing was 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 excellent but we was a little bit worried about Arta we didn't know if it was a concussion um, so he's gone off I think he's at the hospital now having a CT scan on his head um, so that gives me more sort of headaches coming into next week but we just seem to be getting you know players with bad injuries you know we had our captain go down uh, against Crawley and uh, not Crawley it was Crew. And it just seems that it's hurting us at the moment. But Gareth Stewart come on, I thought he was excellent. I thought his kicking was good. And to save a penalty, and couldn't really do much um, for anything on the on the goal towards the end. So no, it was a good, good all-round performance from the boys. It was a real positive. But again, when you look at the table, that's the only disappointing thing that you take out of today. Yeah, the results elsewhere, um, Coventry beating up was, uh, was a surprise, wasn't it? Do you go straight in and look at the other scores and see how that affects you? No, we have, we have a chat first, so I don't want that to cloud um, us coming away here and, and playing so well, because I thought in pockets of the game, I thought we kept the ball well as well. Um, the way we was playing out from the back and we was creating chances from you know, our split, was it was really pleasing. And it's pleasing to come here, but if it's earlier on in the season, you walk away and you say, you know, that's a decent result for us. But where we are, it's not. But with the performance on the back of what we did on Saturday and to come to Scunthorpe and still create you know, three or four sort of decent chances that we think we should take. We're, um, we're we're pleased as a squad. Just finally, you used the word headache, as in goalkeeping headache. Is that something that could be solved or may have to be solved by the signing of a lone goalkeeper? We'll have to we'll have to wait and see uh, the fallout from the, from the scar. It's too early for Chris Will to be back. He, he was back training yesterday, so we'll assess that. But we need to see what the fallout is um, leading into or leading as soon as Arthur comes back and meets us on the coach. I think you've done your homework. You've got a list in case you need to pounce. Yeah, we've got a homework, but I think Gaz will be hiding it, Gareth Stewart, because he'd be wanting to try and play in goal uh, from the start. So, uh, But no, really pleased today with the effort. I think you can see the boys are showing that commitment. Um, we've got a lot of young lads out there that we've sort of borrowed from other clubs and they're all putting their you know, they're putting their bodies on the line out there for us and, and, and I do appreciate that. And I said that afterwards, that players are giving everything. Support was magnificent the day behind that goal. It was rocking, wasn't it? So, disappointed we couldn't get all three points for them, but performance was good, result was good, just the situation that we are, disappointing.